Why does Jesus answer nothing to a rod? You should therefore know that at some point Pilate tries not to execute Jesus. He is looking for all the possible tricks and one of the tricks that he will try is that as Jesus was arrested in an area which is under the jurisdiction of Herod, the Greek king, he will send it to him for let him be judged. This story of Herod is told in chapter 23 of the Gospel according to St. Luke from verse 8. So Jesus does not answer him. To know the best of the other's heart is to look at the technique of Jesus. Jesus responds to Pilate because he seems to be seeking the truth. Jesus does not respond to Herod because he wants to have fun. The text is very clear. He was very happy that Jesus had been sent to him because he wanted to see him do a little miracle. For a long time he had wanted to see him's magic tricks. It was no further than that. You should know that at the time the Greek Empire was decadent. It is also considered by the Romans as such. The Romans are precise people, people with a very firm moral structure in comparison. So Jesus doesn't answer him. It's not used. Herod, tired of hearing him say nothing, and ends up putting on a magnificent coat and he sends it again to Pilate. It is on this day that they become friends. Why do they become friends? Because they have a common enemy, the unbearable and difficult to manage Jewish people. The attitude of Jesus also shows that sometimes when there is a trial and we are faced with perfectly dishonest people who do not want to hear or mock, that sometimes it is necessary to know how to remain silent to come in itself, if only to keep the strength for the future. It is the same before police interrogations. When things have been said once and to tire afterwards, the question, the question with the same questions. We see it with Joan of Arc. We see it very often. Sometimes you don't have to answer. May your yes be yes. May your no be no, says Jesus.